Good evening, everybody. I didn't think I'd come back on tonight, but I missed you all. So, I finished off the red scarves, so I will show that to you um, in another video. Um, actually, I'm going to post them on a couple people's uh, profiles on Facebook, or group story. So, I thought I'd do another video on yarn and hooks. So, today we're going to try this hook from Etsy, Grapefruit. It's the new one I got, uh, 4.5. So one and one, and then I thought we'd try an economic one, but it's prime or prim. It's one of the old-fashioned ones, but they used to be silver, which I got a lot of them, like steel ones or plastic ones. But I'm going to try this one, and this one is a 350. And then we're going to use a boy, and this is a five. And then I thought we'll try. A J hook, a six millimeter from Furls Crochet, and it's the wooden one. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is going to be the Premier Angel. It's a lightweight three, and it says to use a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to start off actually with a 350. Because I'm going to just show you that you can use different hooks and different yarns. Um, this is a really soft Premier yarn. It's called Angel. Um, it is very soft. It is. But it does snag so we are going to just try it out with a 350 and then we'll go up. Okay? So yes my hands are all over the place because of the yarn. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know what? I'm sorry. Let's start off with a 6. I'm going to show you. You can make looser stitches. But I want to show you. Let's see if this goes through. Because I haven't used this furrow hooks in a long time. I do have Odyssey hooks too. But we will get to those hooks in a second. Well, in another video. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, we're going to do a half double crochet into the second chain. So far, it's going good. No snakes yet. This one is um, a really soft yarn, but it's in like different threads. Or is it twisted or something like that. So the first row is always a peanut butter. Okay. So we're almost done, and this is the furls, six millimeter crochet hook. I thought we'll start off big, and then we'll work ourselves to the small one. Okay. So so far pretty good. We're going to chain one. So this is the number six from furls. This is what it looks like. Hope that's okay, you guys can see. So it's not bad. You can use this yarn for anything, it's not just for babies. Oh, we have to put that back too. So this one went in all right and did well. Um, now we're going to try a 450. This is the new one now. And let's see if it snags on it. Okay, lower it down. Okay, so we're going to do a half double crochet. I find that I like I like it, the hook. I like this yarn. I just wish this hook was right here a little bit longer in the stem. That's all I wish. The handle's okay. To me, it's a little big for my little hands, but. That's okay. I have to get used to that and the Odyssey hooks. Okay, so remember, I go into the last 
to make that straight edge and then you're going to take that out so that was the grapefruit 450 sorry 450 now we're going to try uh, the five in boy so so far they went through good you can tell the difference between this stitch and that one the bottom is the six and this one is the 450. Oh, I should have did the five first. Oh, well. <laughs> At least you know it went in pretty good. This one, yeah. So far, it's not knocking any wood yet. I like the color of this bronze color. So it's going through pretty good. It does look like it's going to snag, but it doesn't. Get some more yarn here. This time I left it on the balls of the skein of yarn, so that way we just cut it off and we're done with this. And then we go into the last. If we can find the last, this yarn is very, very... Okay. Nope. Something went wrong there. I think I had another stitch before I went to the end. Okay. Yep. So we go into the last stitch there, and then into the end piece. So, so far that went okay. So that's six, four fifty, and a five millimeter. And it says to use a 3.75. So you probably can use a 3.75. You probably use a three. So now we're going to use a 350. This is the ep 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 <laughs> so <get> it. <laughs> economic. So far, okay. Use some more yarn. Oh, I'll tell you that. Okay. Like I said, we're only using five, but I can get another crochet hook and try a different one. That's totally up to you. Well, <laughs> it's totally up to me, you mean? See, though, it just snagged that little piece there, but that is my fault, probably. Okay, there you go. So we're going to chain that off. So you got a six. Six at the bottom. You have the 450 right here. The third one was the 450. Oh, sorry. Six, four, fifty, five, and a three. 350. I don't know if. Okay. I hope you guys can see that one. So that one, that one works with any size of crochet hook. You could probably get away with the three. Let's see if I have a three in here. Oh, look at that. Okay. We have a three. And a Susan Bates. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, sorry. This is be half double crochet, right? So one, two, three. I have to use some yarn. Four. It's me going too fast. I'm sorry, people. Okay. So, so far, nothing major with the Susan Bates either. So, you know, that yarn and hook is, all these hooks that I've used are pretty good. And I like the majority of this yarn. And I do like the quality. It is soft. <laughs> so, that is our first that we did. Now, what I'm going to do is just hook that off, so, okay, so that's the Susan Bates with that. So now we have a six, uh, 450, a five, a 350, and uh, three millimeters, okay?
So that's what that one looks like. So that is the Premier Angel. So you can work pretty much any size of crochet hook with it. Okay, let's put that one down. I will clean this up tomorrow. It has to go on that shelf right now. Okay, now I remember telling you I had a problem with um, the Red Heart Unforgettable. Okay, and it says to use, it's a medium number four, it says to use a number five. So we're going to cross off the Premier List because that is a pretty good one. And we use all, we use an extra hook. So we have all five crochet hooks here. So we are going to start off with the number six crochet hook. Because it's telling you you can use a five millimeter, oh sorry, a six millimeter in crochet hook and a five millimeter in knitting needles. So we'll get our six furls again. A lot of people have no issues. Um, hopefully I won't either because I like this color yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we'll do a half double crochet. I hate first rows. That's one. Two, three, four, this is five, six, seven, mm -hmm. The last one nine. Okay, so that was just the first row of a number six, which it looks really good, right? So maybe we'll do one more row because the first row was a little touchy there, right? So let's just try it again. I'm not going to get rid of this yarn because I like this yarn, so I'll just take it out and so you got to be really careful when you use. A wooden crochet hook, I guess. But so this is used number six, so this is a number six. Plus, I, my hands are up in the air doing this. <laughs> okay. See, no, it's snagging on that one. Okay. So there you go. So that's two rows. The number J, a six millimeter. Pretty colors, and it does. You can make anything with this yarn. Okay, now we're gonna try, where's our five? The boy hook. Oh, the thing came out. All right. All right, half double crochet. Oh, this one slides right through, nice and easy. But I think my why is this cut? I'm sorry, I don't even remember that. Okay. So, see, so other people have no issues. This so far, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um. I won't be using my furl hook on this one, uh, the wooden one, no, because this bowl is too delicate, or yarn, so one more in there, yes, and then it goes to your last one, okay, all right, okay, so two six and one five, the five looks nice and dainty too. Okay, let me just flip that off there for some reason. And now I got chain it back. <laughs> okay, so that is the number five. So we did a six and a five. And now we're going to do a 4.5 wooden. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay. 
Nope. I like doing the half double crochet so then that way it gives you a chance to see the stitches on this one. The next one that we do, well, the next one I do, I'll do, these ones are all threes and fours in this one. I'm not going to say which ones I like and I don't like because I pretty much enjoy most of these yarns that I have down here today. Okay, so that is the 450 with no problems. Okay, so that's really nice. It's soft too. Eh? Alright, now we're going to try, that is a 3, so we're going to try the 350. Do, 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 do. Okay. In. Well, sliding pretty good so far. Okay. Oh, good. I might have enough yarn to do the next uh, number three in this one for you. My hands are sticky. I find it was pretty hot in this part of Canada today. I don't know what tomorrow is going to be like, but let's see. Oh, one more there. Oh, I am off the story. I am. Okay, one more in there. And there, that is the 350. That's the economic. So that went pretty good too. Pretty good stitches. Okay. Oh, we're going to put that chain because it keeps going off. Now we're going to do a Susan base number three millimeter. So I like that. Actually you can do all these stitches and make yourself a pattern. If you guys just think about the people that are just learning. You put all these stitches together you got a pretty nice little thing. It's easy to start doing that. So hey no problem with the number three. Susan Bates. It's going right in there nice and fast. Look at that. No problems. Knock on wood. Oh, and we're done with that yarn. Okay, so you could tell Susan Bates has no issue. None of these had issues except for the furls. I find it, it snagged a little bit down at the bottom, but that's okay. So that's what that one looks like. Okay. So that's pretty good. So you, can, you know that you can use any size, pretty much any size crochet hook with this yarn. And that is number two. So we'll put this one back up here and then I'll get that tomorrow. Okay. Now we're going to do a number four. This one is um, Red Heart. Roll with the tweed. It is a number four and it says to use a 5.5 millimeter. So we are going to start again with the six. Okay. You might trust your old furls. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. Now we're going to do a half double crochet into the second chain. 1. Oh, that's what you said. There we go. 2. Three, four, five, Six, seven, sorry, my hand goes out for the yarn. <laughs> okay. And there you go. So that's number six, pearls. 
So that's not bad. Nice stitch. Now we're going to try a boy, number five. so far gliding in there it's gliding faster than that wooden one so, well it's pretty good though oops sorry <laughs> okay there we go and we're chain one put down so that's five and six not bad. Pretty good, eh? Now we're going to use a 450. Let's see how this little wooden one does. I twisted my yarn there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Not bad, but mm, no, just like that. Okay, it's not bad. Still doing it, but maybe try it with a um, a seal one um, or a different oh, a different hook. So maybe a number. Uh, 450 in a seal one like that one or Susan Bates so this is a number uh, when I just use the 450 okay so that's our stitch that's not bad it's all your preference so we have a six five and a 450 so now we're going to try <laughs> the 350. All depends, right? This is a good way of learning things. So far, okay. It's going in. Get some more yarn here. It's going in. Going in. It's being nice. Wow. Okay, going in. Come on there and give me some yarn. It's going in. And we have one more right there. And then we have our last one right here at the edge. Okay. So, now you know number three of the economic sports. If I'm saying that word right, I hope. Now we're going to use the number three, Susan Bates. So I would say the wooden ones, maybe, it all depends, like, I find the steel ones go better with this one, but it's okay, it still works. So this is number three, as soon as it maze, and it's going through just fine. Knock on wood. Old faithful Susan Bates. I have to watch where I'm putting it, though, don't I? Because... Sorry, drop that loop. There we go. I think I dropped another loop, but at least you can tell it does work. Okay, but I would just recommend you take your time with it. Okay, we're gonna chain one and put it down. So that is five crochet hooks now that we have done with a number four. And this one is the Red Heart Roll with the Tweed. Oh, Roll with Tweed. And it says to use a 5.5, which you could probably use any size up to a 3. Okay, so we'll cut that off. At least we know that works. Good. I love the softness. Okay, but all the softness here, I would have to say the Red Heart 
unforgettable is the softest of angel. I know that. So that would be number one. Okay. Now, the last one we're going to do tonight. We'll put this away. Over here. And I have to redo all my stuff because I want to start to do some Christmas decorating. But tomorrow's Remembrance Day. So I don't do that on Remembrance Day. So. Okay, where is... What am I doing wrong here? Okay, this one... Oops. Is... Um... Mandala Sparkle. Lightweight number three. It says to use a 5.0 millimeter. Okay. Alright. So, what we're going to do is... We're going to use a number six to begin with. I think this uh, crochet hook is the wrong one for this one, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But this is your own preference, remember. This is mine. I'm just showing you what you can do in your swatches and you can find out what yarns you'd like, what yarns you don't like to work with. Like certain needles, uh, crochet hooks I meant. You can find out what certain crochet hooks that you like better to work with certain yarns. This one is, it's okay, but it's not, I wouldn't use this fur on this one. Steam, streamline, I think this one for is. Got last year Christmas. <clears throat> okay, so we have one more to go through. I hope you guys can see that. So, you know number six will go through, or number three for sure. Okay? So we're going to chain that off. So that's number six. Furl's hook. Okay? Now, we are going to use the number five, boy. This is going right through. I use all sorts of different crochet hooks. right there. Okay. So you know that number five goes through good. So let's try the number four fifty. This is a wooden one too. <laughs> so far okay. Maybe it was just a six one. Knock on wood. Maybe it's the way I'm holding these needles. I don't know. I have to get used to these big um like it's not a long enough hook, if you know what I mean. I like it just a little bit longer of the shack. Or what do you want to call it? Oh, wrong one. Sorry, I went into the wrong stitch. We'll go into that one. There we go. So you know a 450 will go in. Okay, and now we're going to use uh, economic number 350. So that is what your stitches are looking for, okay? So I believe that was six, five, and 450, and this is a 350. Okay. So far, not too bad. Did something wrong in that last stitch to me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay. So a 350 works. Now let's try a three. 
You probably already know this, but this is just my opinion anyhow. I like just showing people, like even the newer beginners, just, just do swatches of different, with different crochet hooks. That's what my opinion is. And whatever makes you feel comfortable and you want to use with it, that's what you use. So the Susan Bates is going through, uh, it's the number three. It's going through just easily. Okay. So all these yarns and hooks that I showed tonight are really pretty good. Um, I will not be using that furl on, what yarn was that on? The Angel. I think it was Angel or the Red Heart. The Red Heart Unforgettable. Okay, so that was the Susan Bate one. Okay. So up next on our list, we'll be doing, I have lots more threes to go through with you. I have some Hobium ones to go through. I got number twos to go through. Fives, six, lots of fours. But we'll just do it once in a while. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but for the beginners out there, I think that'd be a good lesson. Just get, you know, five or six crochet hooks out there of different sizes and just get a piece of yarn, you know, thin yarn, thick yarn, and just go through them. You'd be, uns you'd be very surprised what yarns and hooks to use. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a good night. And um, I won't be back on tomorrow for sure. Um, unless I get my uh, love crafts, but who knows? <laughs> I have to do the um, Ophelia Talks Autumn Walk crochet blanket. Okay, you guys, you have a good night, and God bless you. I love you all. Bye-bye.